So one of the reasons why I chose Nikon when I changed camera systems uh, again this year was their attitude to firmware updates. They have been extremely good at updating the Z9 in particular, and in general their attitude to all their cameras. With new features, the Z9 has had some amazing firmware updates, including ones that introduced 8K recording and one that introduced uh, automated capture for doing sort of trail cams and stuff like that. Although leaving a 5,000 pound something camera out in the woods by itself uh, isn't something that necessarily appeals to me. But with the latest version, 4.10, they have backported essentially the bird's detection feature from the new Nikon ZF, which has been a sort of a test bed for a few new technologies that they've been testing out, but they have added to that and now to the Z9 bird detection autofocus. This is kind of interesting because the Z9 already features animal detection autofocus and I don't feel like it's been bad in any way. I think it's very effective, maybe not quite on the same level as Sony and Canon, but it's up there and it works very well. So I've spent the last almost two weeks testing out this new autofocus uh, setting and is it better than it was before? Probably-ish? I have some thoughts and they are not in any real order or even particularly cohesive. So I've tested it out in a few different scenarios and I would say that for small birds it works very well, it works very effectively. And again I don't think it necessarily worked particularly badly with animal autofocus but I think that with the birds mode it's much more determined to get focus on the eyes, it uses a much smaller box and it tracks it much better or at least moves to it faster, it's much quicker at finding the eye on a bird and it's probably its greatest feature is that it can pick up the eye in very odd head positions of a bird. This is actually more noticeable on large birds, things like a, a goose that's got its head down in front of you and you're looking at it head on. The animal detection could kind of tell that it's an animal but it couldn't really figure out where the head is whereas the bird detection mode does quite a good job of that. I generally found it worked very well for larger birds too. And yeah, overall it seems very effective. On small birds in particular, I didn't notice any front focusing where it's picked up on the eyelashes or the cheek instead. It seems to do a much better job of making a smaller area that it's looking at and focusing on the eye itself. So that's a nice improvement. When it comes to birds in flight, uh, it kind of makes no difference whatsoever. As I've mentioned in my Z9 autofocus video, the which I'll link up here somewhere, uh, the interesting thing with how the Z9 works for birds in flight, or at least the type of birds in flight photography I'm doing, is that uh, the object detection kind of doesn't make a huge amount of difference because it does pick it up and it does work and it does track birds like that. But by the time the bird is getting particularly close to the camera, you're often just using the wide area part of the autofocus setup instead. And so it doesn't make a massive difference to me, but it wasn't a negative, it didn't make it worse. So, so I guess that's good in a way. And I did get one of my favorite birds in flight photos from this year so far. I got this really interesting one of a goose and I really like the wing position on this and it did a very good job of focusing on the head. So. Yeah, works well for birds in flight. There was one situation that was a bit weird. And I don't think this is really a bug in the bird detection mode, but it is almost triggered by it a little bit more than it would be from, say, animal detection mode. This is some footage of me trying to focus on a crow. Crows cause a lot of problems for autofocus systems because they are contrastless. They are entirely black. There's no difference in their look and cameras, even if they use phase detect, which obviously the Nikon cameras do, still use contrast detect to confirm focus and it's generally a little bit more accurate whereas phase detect is faster. And you can see where this is going. A contrastless bird with a contrast autofocus confirmation system is going to cause some issues. Curiously, this does not happen if you use animal detection mode, and I think the reason for this is that it is tending to focus on the head rather than the eye, 
and the head does have contrasting shapes against the background and therefore it does a better job of focusing on the head. The bird mode does find the eye much quicker and more consistently, but it's a very small shape and it's just looking at black. It's a black eye, black eyelid, black feathers, and the camera seems to be getting confused, as you can see in this clip. And what it ended up doing is because I'm using a wide area at the same time, it's tending to focus on whatever is the closest object inside of that wide area, which is the grass. And so very consistently in this series of shots, the camera was front focusing on the grass and not on the crow. It could not detect the crow correctly. This is a bit weird. It's not consistent because it depends very heavily on light as well. And the angle of the crow, the size in the frame, but it is something that I figured it's worth mentioning. It's not something I feel is a huge problem or that I'm going to bump into all that often. Um, and if you're photographing flying crows, for example, then you will have that contrast against the sky or the background that works much better. And it's less likely that you're going to be getting a very tiny eye autofocus point that has no contrast. So not super important, but I feel like it's worth noting. And I think it's really just more of a problem in the Z9's autofocus system in general uh, that is triggered by the new bird detection mode, but not caused by it if that makes sense. One thing I did find a little bit curious when I was testing this out is that it's quite hard to rapidly swap between the subject detection modes on the Z9. I might be missing something, and if you do know a better way of doing it, please do let me know, but I couldn't seem to assign the subject detection mode to a function button, and what I ended up doing was duplicating my custom mode set from A to B. A has animal detection, B has bird detection, those are the only differences, and I was swapping it quickly between the two. I also used this to test out the auto subject detection because I was curious to know if it takes birds into account properly, but either the bird mode is not included in the auto subject detection or I feel like it's got a lesser priority than animal detection or maybe animal detection is more certain that it's an animal than the bird detection is that it's a bird and maybe they rank it based on the probability of what subject it could be. This is something that I feel like Nikon could adjust. I feel like bird detection being a more specific subtype of object should take priority over animal detection. Like if it thinks it could be a bird, it should probably focus on the bird first, if that makes sense. Maybe still underneath human, I guess, or maybe even better yet, give us the option of setting the hierarchy in which subject we want to be prioritized over each other. But yeah, at the moment, uh, auto detection functions effectively the same as animal detection, and it doesn't seem to take the bird aspect into account quite as much as I thought, which is a little bit weird. But yes, that's pretty much it for this update. Uh, if you have any comments, if you have tested this yourself, if your findings corroborate mine, or if you've got different results, or if you have any questions, please do put them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.